Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, playing Great Britain in the Conquest of Paradise. And we're at war with Castile, and we've been for uh, 10 years now, holy crap. And we have very low war uh, enthusiasm because, well, we've been going for a long time. But so have they got very low war enthusiasm. But we are definitely winning right now. Because, well, the Castilian army is somewhere in Leon or Burgos. That's where they are. And they're not getting access through Portugal because Portugal is out of the war. And they're not getting access through Aragon because Aragon hates their guts. So when we go to the um, demand tribute, return course... Burgos to Aragon will very likely be on the list of things that will happen this uh, war. Also, we can force some uh, more releases such as Navarra and Galicia. Uh, Granada will be a bit overkill, I guess. But So if we look at these, of course, we will want Orangi. That's the least we can get. But we'll see how far our war score will go up once uh, all these sieges have finished. And actually, it was the 4th of July when we just restarted the game, so... Happy Independence Day for not Castile. Ah, look here. Ah, a Castilian army, actually. A Castilian army appears! Did they seriously give them access? God damn it, I... Okay, these guys are pulling back to Andalusia, at least. So are you going to Caceres, Badajoz, and you're all going to go back. Yes, they have actually found a way through. Mm. Just my luck. Aragon decides to be an asshole and give them access anyway. But this fight, uh, this is a good question. 7th of August, we might kill these cannons before they even get a chance. Okay, get the fuck out of there. Well, I don't think you can. Um, I'd rather not lose the war score. I'm disbanding this unit. Much rather than lose the war score from a completely destroyed battle again. I'm just gonna take them out. So, what does that leave us? Well, we have three here that we can definitely send across. So we will. And actually, you guys can start going to Gibraltar, preferably. So can you. Um, they should not be able to reach us there yet. You also go down. Okay. I need to slow this down like mad. So they get there. Okay. So you can obviously move on. 12th of August, 16th of August. 14th. Okay. Um, Madrid. I do have access through here, so I'm gonna send these guys north through Castilla and I think Vizcaya, actually Navarra. Oh, Aragon will be the quickest then to go to Navarra, okay. So sending them out of the way might be helpful. So the army might have been in Aragon and, and they didn't have a reason to move yet. Now they do, obviously. So, which province is probably the best defensible? Um, Gibraltar. Come on, show me Gibraltar again. Yeah, um, dominant is plain, so it will most likely be a plain fight if they get there. So, Granada would be a much better one to fight in. Because that's just ridiculously strong to engage them in. But that's why we're all running away. Um, 11th of August in Jaén. Uh, 18th, yeah, okay, they move through to Granada a lot quicker. And what do we have here? A offer of peace from Castile. Uh, I will decline that. I cannot reduce... Oh, we don't have the diplomatic power to reduce our war exhaustion right now. Okay, let's see, where are they running? Andalusia, 23rd. Well, we'll be gone there by far. So, you guys get together. Soon, our whole army will be in Gibraltar. Except, of course, for these 5,000. 
which we will have dicking around in the north for then. Um, come on, get there. There we go. This will be... It will be defensive, of course. 31st. Could we run away? No, we can definitely not. Well, this will be the battle to... Why is our morale so low? Is that... 4.22. Hang on. Why is morale so low? Oh, no. It's 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 only 4.22 at this moment, anyway. Well, you'll be there at 1st of September. Yeah, well, you will be reinforcing slightly, so that's okay. There's nothing going to help us here in quality, because we don't have enough points to get to mast battery. So, well, this is going to be... Uh, Let's hope for success. We can always just declare the war to an end. If anything. Seriously, how high is their morale? 6.17 maximum morale. Are, that's a good roll. 5. 1301. Very bad for us. Really bad for us. Come on, a 6 versus... And that was the end of the war, the battle. Damn it, now we cannot ask for anything. And they will follow us, they will catch us here. Mm. Okay, you get back to Tangiers. Okay, um. Ah, there is a chance. How long would it take for you to get in port? Not the army, the na naval forces. Okay, stop running. Arm, navy. Granada, 19th. No, you'll be too late. Damn it, they're gonna get destroy this army. Yeah. I have zero morale. So there's no way to beat them. They will destroy everything again. So that's either needs to regain something or declare peace. But right now, I cannot ask for shit. That's the thing, though. Oh, because we're not at 10% war score anymore. So, come on, get rid of everything. There we go. They would accept a white peace, but they minus 1,000 need at least 10 war score to make demands. Are you kidding me? Hmm. We still have a small army up here, sieging Navarra. Yeah, I mean, zero morale will be just plain destruction. Then again, I... You're mostly mercenaries. I'm disbanding the unit. Won't lose the war score, which is a lot more important. So I just sent mercenaries home. They've been routed, basically. And... Yeah, don't have as much money anymore. 24,000, so I could build 24,000 troops. So what I need is some war score. Is there anything I do not have blockaded? I have this. Um, oh, they have... Okay, you can go back there, I guess. There's still the islands over here, which do not give as much war score as you think. Um, those are also Philippines, I guess. Oh, they are getting tea here. What else is in the Philippines? Um, coffee? Yeah, coffee. And what's this? Chinaware. Naval supplies. So that's good. Tea, naval, peppers, cloth. Of course, we also already have Orangi under siege. So what I could do also is, is actually rebuild the army completely and even more, even bigger than before, with mostly mercenaries again. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Oh my God, the cavalry mercenaries are so expensive. Yeah, I'd rather just train regular cavalry and cannons. Five, six, uh, some cannons as well. One, two, three, four, 
out of money for now. We're just gonna take a loan. Because we definitely can't afford that. Uh, back. So we have four cannons. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. Let's do one, two, three, four of you. Oh! Perfect. You four can also already come down here. So we're now going to rebuild the entire army. We still have these 5,000 as well. Um, oh, not bad. So we can ship them out if we see the Castilian army move out. So what I'm going to do here is home waters. Oh, because really? Granada? Home waters? Nice. So I'm going to detach all my transports of this fleet, send them to the Côte d'Argent. Same I'm going to do with this group, of course. These 21. These 20. Again. Oh, right, right. Okay, you three get off in Tangiers then. So we still have some army. Castilian Particularists, really, ten of them. Jesus. That's not useful. But they're against Castile as well, I believe, so they will be fighting them regardless. That's why I'm sending them back up here to resiege this little bit. So yeah, Castile is now sieging Granada again, which is basically um, inevitable. So U21 also go to the good. The Actually, I don't need everyone, so I'm just gonna go to Cornwall with them. What is this? Oh right, a trade ship. So let's see. Oh, are our mercenaries still no new ones? Let's actually speed up a bit. At least no new. Uh, Infantry mercenaries, which are the cheapest, basically. Battle of Benguela. Oh, we beat up some uh, natives there. Four, really? Why? Oh, wow. That siege finished really quickly, I guess. Um, I can see them coming up, so I'm just going to send them in here. Just not going to take that risk. Their army is somewhere, at least. They might try to break out at one point as well, so... You're also going there, you're all going there. New regular mercs, not yet. I can build some regular infantry as well, so... I mean, manpower-wise, we're just starving regardless, so... Taranaki. Oh damn! Damn it! I forgot to send them there. Oh well. Let's resend the guy. Oh, okay, we have Wairoa completed already, so not yet Timaru. So we have these two provinces. Is that everything? Yeah, it is. No, actually, hang on then. Um, then I can... Yeah, I don't have to, but it's a bit cheaper right now. And in the middle of the war, might be fine just not to do anything about that. So... I'm sure we have enough men anyway. Oh, huh, right timing then. Still no new mercenaries. Maybe you need to buy all the regular mercenaries before you can get new ones. Wow, that, that maintenance is though so high. Let's at least get the cannon then. We'll see after that what's up. Uh -huh. Just getting an army and I'm going to put them in Granada because then we will get a huge defensive bonus. Which will be a lot better actually than just... Um, fighting so 43 of you is that all I have um, where can I see that actually military wise and number I have 50 of them in total okay I have two in Australia basically so where are my others so I need to check my other fleets I suppose um, the siege fleets don't. This doesn't either. Just 34 regulars. There's one over here. So you come to Cornwall. Mm, you have zero as well. Where are the rest of them then? 15. Yeah, 15 is the highest. 14 here. Now it's 6% of course because of... Uh, time at sea so let's return them home for a swift second 
I mean, they don't have any. No, they don't. Are they still in the Americas, then? I'm just looking for my ships. Have you seen my ships? They're not over here. They have their own army in Alaska nowadays, so that's good. Don't have anything on Wake. There's two here, yeah, I know this. So... I will need them here, though. Oh, hang on. These five. Um, sail there for a bit. Nothing here, nothing there. We have one now over here. Okay, so I will attach you. Send you over there to Nicobar Isles to siege that bit of Castile. Anything down here? Well, I can send you inside. Ah, here we go. These three. Oh, right. Yes, for these guys to pick them up. I'll send them to Luanda for now. Hopefully we will finish the siege soon. 2%? How is this not going up? Oh, right. We ended temporarily the... Uh, lost the siege of Rio de Oro. Yeah. It's not that high at war score value, at least. 3.7. Let's just go back and forth for a quick second. Armies are arriving. That's good. Uh -huh. I believe you also still have to move in. So, ah, there's a new infantry available, which is nice. Yeah, you know what? I have right now got enough for these guys. And I think they might actually be giving you more chance of a complete new roster. Mercenaries if you have zero available in total. So, that's 41. Oh, I'm lacking one. One merchant man. Huh. Any other? Yeah, this whole southern coast really is uh, very, very helpful for doing this. So, you guys come here. New mercenaries are available. That's nice. Yeah, now I won't buy these anymore. They're just getting too expensive now. Okay, 44. And I will transport you over to Tangiers. And we'll probably pick up the rest. Okay, Umvumbundo is going fine. Tariffs and sugar. You know what, just tax it now. Timaru, natives. Oh no, so sad. Much annoyed. Uh, Orangi would be the only one, you know, working on it. All right, these guys, transport. Uh, give them a military guy. Get off. Is this the same province yet as the Andamans? Well, it's an area, you know. It's another siege. Okay, my ships have arrived. I'll send them back to pick up more. And they are becoming available again. So, and I can actually buy a couple more regulars for myself. Even though I do need to save some because I want to have a large stack, but it will take quite the attrition while over there. So, we gain 334 each month that we can have. So, of course, the mercenaries themselves don't take up any from that group. So, you're simply helpful anyway um 50% done yeah I'm gonna recall you now um, here we have siege of sus we've lost the siege of sus okay to the particularists I suppose um, well, yeah let's just be jury let's send them in so these guys are now taking Ah, control of everything. Okay. Oh well. It appears that Morocco has broken free again from Portugal, which is good for them. Obviously. Uh, let's see. More finished. So, let's see. All right, two more. Let's do it. We have some tech available, which is military tech. Better cannons... Um, how is military tech for Castile right now? Is it 19? That might be an advantage I'm w really willing to take. 
So I'm taking the attack and up, obviously right upgrading the cannons. So stronger cannons, infantry fire, combat width. Oh, this might be enough. Might be. Also, um, how is our military tradition? Army tradition is twenty one point eight. Yes. Um, I will have to wait though for a new leader. Minus one. Yeah, because you need fifty. You know. You get together on the transport. You are going to go to Tangiers. See, the army is not in sight, so they're probably in Madrid, just chilling. Ungrateful natives of Timaru. Oh no, Battle of Timaru. One. Oh, that was quick, I suppose. 14% should be done soon enough. And then they can come to Tangiers as well. There's a hole in the wall, though, so... I don't know. Siege takes long. Siege, Siege phase is 50 days. Blimey. Let's reduce our war exhaustion by quite a bit. Because that should... Um, let's tell us minus one. Support Baroque music. Only the Almighty knows what artistic talent has gone wasted because of too little money, too little food, and too little love. Help struggling composers in Great Britain with your patronage, and they will help you in return. Of course, plus one prestige for 10 admin par and some ducats for 20 years, though. I'll take it. I'm glad they take it. Yeah, their war enthusiasm also quite low, and their relative strength doesn't help them, of course. Uh, military strength of ourselves is quite low as well. This is all they have. So we have actually about the same amount. So we have a little bit more cavalry. We will have more uh, again, Timaru. Wow, those guys are pissed off. Oh boy. Um. Jesus, what is going on over here? Didn't you get like the um, the rest time being at port? I guess not. Well, for now we'll just um, keep them here to repair them at least. Yeah, that's annoying. Well, at least these are in supply within supply range. So, wow, we might actually have a core in ten years before the war is over. That's how ridiculously long it's been going on. Anyway, um. This fleet can come outside to play. Because these are home waters who actually don't take damage. That's helpful. Portugal declared war upon their new enemy, the Incas. P White peace not happening. Um, yeah, 35%. Come on, just to win it now. I will be happy. Otherwise, I have to wait another 50 days. There we go. Okay, you just switch around for a second and then we'll pick them up and go north and okay that's about it so we'll have a very very large army ready to take on the army of I'm gonna try yeah sure um, send a military guy why not we're in the middle of a war we're sending our generals to lead uh, yes oh we're quite far over the half now we have 100 70 years left to play, and we've been playing for over 200 now, so... Taranaki, oh no! We have people there, I believe. Yes, we do. Okay, come on, where are you? Come on, ships. Okay, these guys go back to... Um, there, you can go back to the Canary Sea. They are rebuild. They're putting a lot of money in rebuilding their entire fleet, though. Which is a shame because it would be so nice if they were decide to just return. So well fifty nine thousand to land. Oh. oh what we're still we're still sieging despite the fact that we have just cavalry here, which is actually nice to know that that's possible these days. But yeah, um let's see, we need forty four. Siege of the Animans. Oh, they're just done. So actually, um Split off, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I want the strongest group to be there, so 44. Uh, once those two are here, it will be 47, so. And let's not forget the Andamans. Actually, hang on. Sail into port, it's always quicker. 
Uh, local tax increase. Ooh, Cornwall gets plus one base tax. Very cool. You can now sail there. New governor in Alaska. Native assimilation. Ooh, that's very good. Um, we don't lose prestige for keeping the guy, so we're keeping the guy. So that's a thing. We have assumed leadership in the war against Portugal and New Portugal. Are you kidding? We're at war with Portugal now? Why did they declare war on me? Uh. What is this suddenly? Take core of Onondaga. Now we're also at war with Portugal. Well, that sucks. Real bad. Um, so, which means I need to recollect my fleet because the Portuguese fleet is a bit more sizable. So, I'm gonna recollect the fleet, take out. Well, that's at least that. Um, Battle of Hatton Bank. Okay. Well, that's 21 of their merchant ships just taken out instantly. 10 prestige, good. Well, that's at least some way of, one way of doing this, so. Um, yeah, it's, by the way, it's, it's probably easy to get them out of the war because just locating everything here will be just fine already, good. Anyway, um, Siege of Arguin has been lost. Oh, the particularists. Well, they're being pissed at Castile. Is it minus three now? Wait, how? How is this now suddenly minus three? We have some occupations going on. Was this worth that much then? Don't believe want don't want to believe that. Anyway, forty seven. He's still not back, isn't he? No, he's not. Where are those three guys that I'm waiting for? Wait, what? Where did they go? They're nowhere to be seen. Navy of three strong. They have not even left... What? They haven't left port yet. Here, go to Tangiers. How hard can it be? Yeah, that's the Portuguese um, army, basically. So now we are at 18% war score all of a sudden with Portugal. Um, Shawnee becomes a part of the 13 colonies, really? That easy? Huh. But they will not give this up yet because the war hasn't been going on for that long yet. So, and wow, they have quite some... That it's... They, oh, one of them must still be a, yeah, still some uh, of those things. Well, at least our colonial nations can fight them here. Huh. Interesting. Oh, well. So, in the interest of speeding up it all, speeding it up, we're just going to, let's see if we can do this. How long will it take them to get there? The April 12th getting on the ship. May 15th getting off. You need to be very careful that not all of a sudden their army is in Granada before we land, of course. So that's May 15th. Don't be there. I mean, I can stop on the 14th. 13th. 14th, no army. Here we are. Hello. Let's have you follow. And since you're still not here. Hey, look. There's a uh, Portuguese fleet just entering port over here when I was arriving. Quite lucky, I suppose. Possibly. But can the Portuguese army engage me in Castile? That's the question. really is. Well, minus 7% already, so that's speeding up. Then again, uh, we do lose a lot of units because of attrition. Yeah. 
Anyway, I guess this will be it for now. Yeah, so... Tough luck on the Portu well, Portuguese declaring on us, but we have an immense war score against them. 100% blockade already, so... They are probably losing money right now. We have a high war enthusiasm for this war, which is perfect. And yeah, we just need to actually... We're very close to just for enforcing demands. Safi could be forced to Morocco, which is actually quite nice. Just making sure they have Pueblo as a vassal. They have release... Oh! Releasing Orissa might be a... That would be really fun to do, because that would mean if we can get to that point, then it would be very good. And uh, where is my fleet? Is it... It's not yet dead, so let's just get on that island quickly, and then have them sail back. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, and I have no idea how this will end. But we'll see you all later, to see how this ends get it I mean just just keep watching we'll see what happens okay okay see you guys later